So hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Avinav. So in this video, we are going to talk about uh, the problem A, B, and C of code forces down 774. So it is late. I am uploading this video because yesterday I was not able to uh, show the video. Actually, uh, the code forces side was also down. I was recording the video, but in between the server of the code forces goes down so that is why i was not able to record a video and also the second reason was that uh, the contest was not uh, good for me yesterday and i have just solved the problem number a and b the b was something confusing because uh, it was not confusing but uh, I, I will i will tell you when i will explain that what uh, what was the thing which i have done wrong here and that is why it took uh, like uh, two wrong submissions for me to solve the problem number b the problem number c was a very nice problem it is a uh, you can say a unique type of problem in which you have to observe many things to solve this problem to get the logic of this problem and yeah i can say that uh, the third one was uh, the best one among the, the top three problems uh, i haven't read the problem number d because uh, there was uh, because i was uh, only not able to solve the c so i haven't read the d also because the submissions for d was also very low so I think that that was a very tough problem or difficult problem because the submissions of D and E are very close. So you can say that D and E are of uh, slightly same level. But yeah, problem A, B and C, if I give problem A, it was around 800 rating. Problem B was around 1000 to 1100 maybe. And problem C was around 14 to 1500 rating. Fine. So this was the ratings of the problem according to me. So first of all, we'll discuss the most easy problem of the contest, which is problem number A. So uh, in this problem, you uh, you are given with that you are given with the uh, array. Okay, you are given with the array of uh, n plus one integers in which each in integer can be n square or a number between zero to n. Okay, so this is what it is telling, and you are provided with the value of n and the value of sum for this problem. You have to find out how many elements of this sequence of this array are equal to n square. You have to find this, fine. So uh, you have to observe one thing that, for example, if there are uh, only zero to n in that uh, particular array, and there is no n square element, for example, then the sum will always be less than n okay let's see how let's see how so let's move towards the code part oh, sorry whiteboard so what i am telling is that there are n plus one elements okay there are n plus one elements and if we see that uh, we can make these elements from 0 to n minus 1 or n square this is what we can make this element you are put with the sum of the element and the value of n value of n okay so if for example there are x such element x such element whose value is n square and rest are between 0 to n minus 1 so the sum of these element will be equal to x n square means x into n square and these will be equal to this the sum of this will always be less than n square less than n square because 0 plus 1 plus 2 up to how many it will be less than n square because if we find the sum of this it will be n square by 2 minus n by 2 like this so it cannot be it cannot be greater than n square. For example, all the n plus 1 elements are n minus 1. Because that is the maximum value which we can get. The biggest value can we take? Can we take n square or can we take n minus 1? The rest of the values are small. So if all the n plus elements are n minus 1, so we have n minus times n plus 1 times n minus 1. So it will, always, it will also equal to n, minus, n square minus 1. The value of this is. So, if we have x number of n square elements, x can be 0 to n minus 1. Kitane n square, but 
the value of the all the rest of the element will always be less than n square. That is the logic behind this problem, and that is why we, if the sum is greater than n square, then there should be some n square. So the answer will be simply sum divided by n square, and the remainder of this will be the sum of the remaining element, and the question will be the number of n squares element in that array. I hope you get it. I hope you get it. Okay. So this was an easy problem, and uh, uh, I took just two minutes to solve this my, <laughs> because. Uh, I got the logic and it was a good one. And if I move towards the code, so code is also very simple. As I told that we have just divide s by n square. So here is n square and there we are. Our two n codes. Okay. So this was the problem. Fine. So let me uh, move towards the problem number B. B was a very great problem. Was a very good problem. So here I have done two wrong solutions. So first of all, I will tell you that what are the logics which went to the wrong submissions, what I have missed, what I have done wrong in proving this. So it is asking us that uh, you you should divide that particular array, you should paint the particular array into some elements in red and some into blue, such that if there are blue number of elements are greater than red, means the count of blue should be written counter red and the sum of red should be written in the sum of blue. This is vice versa. Okay, these are concentrating. Here the count of blue should be written, here sum of red should be written. So basically you have to divide that particular array into two subsequences, into two parts, such that one should have the more number of elements but less sum, one should have the sum greater than another one, but number of elements should be less, like that. But there is a one key point that you can also leave some elements unpainted. You should also leave some element unpainted. Okay, so let's understand this with the help of an example in the whiteboard. Okay, काफी अच्छे से समझ आ जाएगी ये चीज कि क्या बोलना चाह रहा है और मैंने क्या गलती की. For example, you have you are going with a uh, these are two, three, one, five, seven, two, one. For example, this is the particular array. So you can simply first of all solve this array. This is one one two two three five seven. You can simply solve this array. Fine. Why should we solve this? Because what we are doing is we have to make the count of blue greater than count of red, but we have to make the sum of blue less than sum of red. So what can we do is? कि हमें जो सम है बी का जो ब्लू कलर का जो सम है वो हमें कम चाहिए पर उसके नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट ज्यादा चाहिए सो वी विल टेक द लीस्ट एलिमेंट्स इन बी इन ब्लू कलर जो सबसे छोटे होंगे ना वो बी मिलेंगे तो उनका सम भी सबसे छोटा है और उनका जो काउंट है वो आर से एक बड़ा होना चाहिए और आर का हमें सम बड़ा चाहिए तो आर हम लोग मैक्सिमम एलिमेंट ले लेंगे बात समझ में आ रही है सो वी विल टेक दिस वन एज आर एंड दिस टू एज बी Got it? So go. Count of B कितना है two और R कितना है one means two is greater than one. It's okay. Sum of R कितना है seven. Sum of B कितना है two. So again, this is it is fine. You can also do it like that. You can take these three and these two. Then you can take these four and these three. These are the possible solutions of this particular problem of this given problem. What I have done wrong is I have just checked for the first two and the last one, but you have to check for all the possible cases. Means first three and last two, then first four and last three, and also you can also leave some elements unpainted. Like if we are taking just this one, one and seven, then these or all unpainted. So we can do it. And the second submission, what I have considered, I have to paint all the elements. That is what I have considered, and that is why I have gone two wrong submissions. Okay, so I am just telling this so that you should ignore this. I will also ignore this next time, and you should also ignore this. Fine. Okay. So this is what I have done. Uh, let's move towards the code part to understand it uh, more clearly. and that is why so my last three contest went 
very bad that is why i was again a pupil <laughs> i am again a pupil and here it is showing uh, specialist okay it's fine <laughs> if it is showing <laughs> uh yeah okay so i have just uh, first of all i have taken uh, the first the smallest element in the sum of a because we have to take the count of a one more than the count of b okay means the count of a is basically uh, red uh, sorry blue and this is red now i have just taken all the numbers as a two pointers approach maine pehle a mein पहला नंबर ऐड किया बी में लास्ट से पहला नंबर ऐड कर दिया फिर चेक कर लिया अगर ऐसा है तो प्रिंट यस एंड रिटर्न अदरवाइज इफ नो केसेस आर फेमिलियर यू कैन जस्ट प्रिंट पी पी एन और यू कैन जस्ट प्रिंट फाइन सो या सो दिस इज व्हाट आई हैव डन आई होप यू गॉट द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम सो नाउ लेट्स मूव टुवर्ड्स द प्रॉब्लम नंबर सी इट इज अ ग्रेट प्रॉब्लम I was not able to solve this during the contest. I was close to it, but I, I was not able to solve it. But it was a great problem. I can say it is based on the bit mask, brute force, constructed all the math, 1500 rating it is, and I can say yes. So let me check the rating of the second one. I have told it was like 10,000 to 1100. Oh, it was also 800. Fine. So it was yeah, it was a easy problem. It was a very easy problem. fine but i i i think that it is of 1000 rating it is given at uh, 100 800 i don't know yeah but it was of 1400 to 1500 and it is written right so yeah so the c problem uh the great one and uh, in which you have to basically there is a number called powerful if it is a power of 2 or it is a factorial now what did you have to what you have to do is you have to uh, make this uh, positive integer and which is given to you the sum of k distinct uh, powerful numbers shows that you have to find the minimum k okay the minimum possible k such that and can be represented at the sum of k distinct powerful numbers so there are some observations in this problem okay so let's first of all observe that in the whiteboard the first observation that the value of n is less than equal to 10 to the power 4 okay so the powerful numbers hum log lenge that should also be less than equal to 10 to the power 12 so if we take all the powerful numbers first of all if we take the factorials of all the numbers factorials of all the numbers so it will be 1 factorial 2 factorial 3 factorial 2 4 factorial up to till the value is not greater than 10 to the power 4 the value of 15 factorial will be the last one or 14 factorial i think because after this the value will be greater than 10 to the power 12 so we will not take this take that fine now if we take the power of 2 so it will go to power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 up to something about 2 to the power 40 it was like after that it will be greater than 10 to the power 12 so hum log itne factorials le sakte hain lagbhag 14 numbers hamare factorial ke paas and approx 40 hamare paas hai powers so we can take some factorials as a part of k numbers and some power is tarike se le sakte hain okay सो जो चैलेंज था वो था कि कितने फैक्टोरियल नंबर्स लें इनमें से कितने पावर लें यू हैव टू अप्लाई ब्रूट फोर्स यार वाई ब्रूट फोर्स अब सारे कॉम्बिनेशन चेक कर सकते हैं इन 14 नंबर्स की कि हमारे पास अगर ये 14 फैक्टोरियल्स हैं हमारे पास यहां पे ये 14 नंबर है वन टू सिक्स ट्वेंटी फोर वन ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी या सेवन ट्वेंटी अप टू फिफ्टीन फैक्टोरियल और फोर्टीन फैक्टोरियल so if we have these 14 numbers here we can take all the to the 14 possible combinations because to the 14 is not a very big value it is not a very big value so we can take all the to the 14 variables so the complexity of this will be 2 to the power n what is n and in the number of factorials we can take in the set This is the complexity. हम लोग चेक कर सकते हैं कि हमारे 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 पास वैल्यू n है तो अगर हम लोग सिर्फ वन और टू को लें 
तो बाकी वन और टू ले लिया और बाकी पावर ऑफ टू में ले लिया पावर ऑफ टू कितना ले सकते हैं फिर सिक्स और ट्वेंटी फोर लेके देख लो फिर वन ट्वेंटी सेवन लेके देख लो या फिर इसको 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 लेके देख लो ऑल द पॉसिबल ऑल द पॉसिबल फॉर ईच नंबर वी हैव टू पॉसिबल इसको लेना कि नहीं लेना है जीरो एंड वन फॉर दिस ऑल्सो इट इज जीरो एंड वन इसको इंक्लूड करना है कि नहीं इंक्लूड करना है ओके okay? so, इस तरीके से हम इसे कर सकते हैं सारे पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन देख लो ठीक है फॉर एग्जाम्पल जैसे कि हमारे पास नंबर था ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव नहीं लाइक अराउंड टू फोर्टी विच वॉज गिवन टू इट वॉज टू फोर्टी सो विल चेक कि अगर हम लोग वन ट्वेंटी एट लेते हैं या वन ट्वेंटी लेते हैं हम लोग पहले फैक्टोरियल्स के सारे पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन देख लेंगे कि इफ इफ वी टेक वन ट्वेंटी एंड आई थिंक इट विल ट्वेंटी फोर एज इन आर सेट इफ यू इंक्लूड दिस इन आर सेट देन हाउ मच इज रिमेनिंग सो वी कैन चेक दैट अप्रॉस नाइनटी सिक्स इज रिमेनिंग सो फॉर दैट वी कैन टेक सिक्सटी फोर एंड थर्टी टू या फ्रॉम टू की पावर टू सेट पावर ऑफ टू सेट तो हमने फैक्टोरियल से दो नंबर ले लिए और पावर ऑफ टू सेट ने ले लिए तो चार आ गया हमारे पास बेसिकली तो हमें ये हमें बेसिकली ये निकालना होगा कि यहाँ पे ये कितना है ये मतलब कि हमें फैक्टोरियल्स कितने लेने पड़ेंगे और जो बचा हुआ सम होगा 96 भाई 128 में इतना फैक्टोरियल आ गया 240 में इसको डालो इतना फैक्टोरियल बचा 96 उसको हमें टू ग्राफ और हम लोग कोई भी नंबर को टू की पावर में रिप्रेजेंट कर सकते हैं एज अ सम ऑफ टू की पावर विच इज आर बाइनरी रिप्रेजेंटेशन विच इज आर बाइनरी रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो वी कैन इजिली डू इट जितने फैक्टोरियल ले, ले ली इतना बचा सम उतने हम लोगों ने टू की पावर ले लिया फाइन सो so, इसके हर पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन आप कैसे देखेंगे तो इसको हम लोग ऐसे देखेंगे हम लोग क्या करेंगे कि हमारे पास देखो यहाँ पे 14 नंबर्स हैं इसका आप ये समझ लीजिए आप हर जगह इसको यूज कर सकते हैं फॉर फाइंडिंग ऑल द पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन यू कैन यू कैन राइट ऑल द पॉसिबल यू कैन इजिली राइट ऑल द यू कैन से पॉसिबल बाइंडिंग नंबर फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू डी पावर फोर्टीन मीन्स माइनस वन मीन्स जीरो 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 टू टू फोर टू सिक्स टू एट टू टेन टू ट्वेल्व टू फोर्टीन मतलब इसका मतलब क्या हुआ हमने कोई भी नंबर नहीं लिया फिर आया जीरो 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 वन मतलब ये वाला एलिमेंट ले लिया हम लोगों ने ऐसे करते करते सारे पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन बन जाएंगे और हम लोग उसको चेक कर सकते हैं ओके इस तरीके से सारे पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन यहाँ पर हमारे बन रहे हैं तो आई होप समझ में आ गया होगा तो अब एक काम करते हैं कोड पार्ट पे थोड़ा सा चले लेते हैं और कोड को समझते हैं ये मैंने अभी बिल्कुल सबमिट किया है सो वॉट आई हैव डन इज कि मैंने पहले तो वो वो वाले एक वेक्टर में मैंने सारे वो नंबर स्टोर कर लिए हैं जो फैक्टोरियल हम ले सकते हैं okay, वो सारे फैक्टोरियल हमने स्टोर कर लिए हैं After that तो मैंने यहाँ पर वो फुल ले लिया फुल मतलब हमें कहाँ तक इटरेट करना है कितने पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन होंगे टू टू पावर फोर्टीन ओके तो मैंने चेक कर लिया कि अगर ये हमारा बाइनरी नंबर है तो उस बाइनरी में अगर एस वन है तो मैंने उसको लिया है मतलब जो मैंने कोई लॉजिक समझा आप अपने अब आप उसको अपने तरीके से इम्प्लीमेंट कर सकते हैं और जो सम बचा है एन माइनस सम उसको मैंने काउंट कर लिया कितने टू की पावर लगेंगे मैंने यहाँ देखो फंक्शन लिखा हुआ कितने टू की पावर हमें लगेंगे लाइक दैट टू कॉमन लॉग so this was the solution of the problem i hope you got it if you have any doubt you can comment it down or you can join our telegram to ask your doubt you can connect with me on linkedin you can subscribe to the channel join our telegram follow me on instagram for more video i hope you like it share it with your friends thank you